transgender. It's made very, very cool through the media. Through TikTok, through Reddit, through Tumblr, through Instagram, through Facebook, through Twitter, through their games, in their movies. Who came to your ball tonight? Was me. Why are they all doing this simultaneously? I am a former public school teacher of 15 years. Our public schools have changed. Five years ago, there was no students that were identifying as non-binary. Gender fluid was not something that we even knew about. If I were to explore with a person about why they believe they're in the wrong body, my license would now be under threat. And I told the therapist, I think I might be transgender, but I don't really know and I need your help. He affirmed me immediately. Immediately she affirmed me as a transgender woman. These kids are getting put on puberty blockers like after the first visit, or they're just getting pushed through this pipeline of surgery. And then I felt down, I felt tired, I felt exhausted. I felt, my mom said I looked like a pale ghost. I started to become dysfunctional in just about every area of my life. Come to find out, I had two weeks to live. My daughter was in pain. She used to cry. She couldn't sleep. She couldn't concentrate after, you know, taking these hormones. First of all, puberty blockers, it's a lie that it's reversible. The puberty blockers really put a hold on development. Doctors won't speak out. Very few of us will speak out. If you belong to a very large medical organization, they will threaten your job. As one doctor gushed about how much the procedures bring in. It's a $1.5 billion industry for surgery alone. It's a political agenda being worked out. Kids are sort of a test subject. If you're gonna look for anything in this country, you're gonna follow the money because it will always tell you the truth.